free money from the government now? Do you want to save your business? This is Kelly Al with Live Into Life, and we are about to talk about the stimulus loans, the stimulus packages, and how you can get free money from the government to make sure that your, your business stays in business, that you're able to still pay your employees, and you're able to pretty much kick butt during this time. Are you with me? All right, let's get started. My name is Kelly L and I'm with Live Into Life and I help queens create financial independence and extreme life balance by changing every single area of your life. So let's get started with finances, why not? Hey, listen, we all have more time on our hands right now, allegedly, unless you're homeschooling and trying to run a business from home and trying to stay healthy and trying to pay your rent and trying to pay your mortgage and trying to pay your bills and the list goes on and on and on. So what do we do? How do we fix this? What tools are available to us right now from the government to help us do that? Well, today we're going to talk about two different types of loans that you can actually apply for starting April 3rd, April 3rd under certain circumstances and April 10th for the remainder of people, but we can start applying for them primarily on April 3rd. So what are these two types of loans that I keep talking about? Well, we have a Paycheck Protection Plan loan, which is also called a 7A loan, and we have an emergency EIDL grant, which some people are actually calling the SBA Disaster Loan, or a 7B2 loan. A little confusing, right? Listen, there's two types of loans, that's it, two. Okay? And you can actually apply for both of them, provided that you apply for them for different reasons. So for example, if you're going to apply for the Paycheck Protection Plan loan, you can do that if you're going to use that to pay salaries. And let's say that you're going to apply for the emergency EIDL grant or a SBA disaster loan, you can actually use that to pay your mortgage or your rent or any other kind of utility payments that you may have with your business, okay? As long as you use them for two different purposes and you indicate that in the applications, that is fine, you can apply for both of them. So what's the difference? Let me tell you some basic differences, okay? So that we all understand because there's so much information out there about th these loans and who applies and who can apply, who qualifies. Honestly, it's kind of like paralysis by analysis. There is way too much information coming at us so quickly and no one really knows the answers. Well, let me tell you that I am an attorney. I have been running successful sm small businesses for nearly 15 years years and I have reviewed multiple thousands and thousands of laws I have reviewed thousands and thousands of cases so I'm familiar with the type of language and the type of exceptions that are contained within bills and, and acts of the government and so that is why I am an expert in this field I'm an attorney a lifestyle coach but also a wealth coach and I want to make it very very clear and make it super duper simple for you so that you are able to apply for these loans and you're able to keep your business up and running and get this free money. Get this free money. Hello, free money. Woohoo! Alright, so I'm gonna go to my computer and I'm gonna go through a few things with you so that you can see specifically what the differences are, okay? All right, let's go over to the computer. So who is eligible for this free money? Well, basically, every company that has less than 500 employees is eligible for this money. In addition to that, any sole prop proprietor, any independent contractor is also entitled to this money. It's also eligible for this money. How do you become eligible? Well, if you have been affected by COVID-19, meaning you can't continue operating your business the same way you have, you're not bringing in the same amount of money, you're not able to function the same way you were functioning, you've been sick, you're taking care of kids at home. If any of that applies to you, you are an affected borrower or what they like to call an impacted borrower. So it applies to you. And if you haven't already, please check out my video right here. Here. This video actually explains the entire stimulus bill and it's 
much longer than this current video, but it does go through everything in extreme detail, so if you'd like to check that out, please do so. And while you're at it, if you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do so, and hit that little bell for notifications, because I will be keeping everybody up to date with what needs to happen when you're applying for these loans, and some of the things that you need to be aware of to make sure that you don't have to pay the loans back. Because if you don't know already, these loans are free. They're 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 free. Provided, provided that you make sure that whatever you're spending this money on is one of the items that's contained in the allowable items to spend this money on. What are those items? They are pay for employees, they are pay your mortgage, pay your rent, and pay your utilities, basically. That's what it boils down to. You can't take this money and go, not that anyone would do this right now, but go on vacation to Disney. No, no, not allowed. All right, so two types of loans. The first loan is the Paycheck Protection Plan loan. This can give you up to $10 million or up to two and a half times your payroll for a total of eight weeks. No, not everyone is getting $10 million. That would be nice. So how do you figure out how much money you can get under this PPP loan? Okay, this is what we do. I'm gonna pull my calculator one second and I'm back. Okay, so let's say that from January 31st of 2019, which is the date that we need to go back to, through to January 31st of 2020, you spent a total of $250,000 on payroll for your small business, okay? $250,000, this might be a little backwards. <laughs> All right, so $250,000, what we're gonna do is we're gonna divide that by 12, and so you have spent $20,833.33 per month on average on your payroll, okay? Now what you're going to do is you're gonna times that by 2.5. Multiply it by 2.5. That gives you a grand total of $52,083.33, okay? That is the amount of money you can get under the Paycheck Protection Plan loan, the PPP loan. Okay, that's the max you can get. But you don't have to pay this back provided that you use this money on either salaries, rent, utilities, etc. Okay, if you do that, you don't have to pay the money back. So this is amazing because you don't have to go through any potential savings you currently have in your business in order to keep your employees employed. Why is this happening? Like, why would the government do this? Well, They've ramped up unemployment, they've ramped up um, debt relief, and so the reason they're doing this is because they don't want Americans out of work. Do you know how long it would take to get all of these Americans back to work? Oh my goodness, it would take forever! Which is exactly why they want to encourage employers to keep people employed. Now. I've had a lot of comments about this and a lot of questions about who is actually considered an employee. An employee is an employee who is a full-time W-2 employee or a part-time W-2 employee or a 1099 employee. So you can include 1099s in that, uh, in that amount if you pay some of, some of your people through 1099s. You can include that, all right? That's great news. Yay, yay. Okay. Second loan is the economic injury or slash SBA disaster loan slash emergency EIDL grant. All of those things, all of those terms refer to the same type of loan, all right? A 7B2 loan, it's the same type of loan, okay? What does this mean? You can get up to $2 million for your business but it's simply based upon your gross revenue and your cost of goods sold during the prior year, all right? And it's a bit more lenient when it comes to the requirements of documentation. However, you do have to pay majority of it back. The only exception to that is that you get a $10,000 advance that you do not have to pay back. Now let's talk about interest rates. All right, the interest rate on the PPP loan is 0.5%, which is nothing! 0.5%, <laughs> I mean, do you know how sexy that is? Like, ah, that's crazy. All right, 
Um, the other loan, the economic disaster loan, is approximately, can go up to 4.5%. All right, now that's still an amazing interest rate. So I'm actually making the decision to take out both of those loans. The reason I am is because the interest rate is so low, the requirements are so low, and you don't have to pay them back for years. And so as a result, I think it makes sense for my business to take out both of those loans because they are available right now. And I know that it's gonna help my business in the event that this illness, I'm gonna call it an illness so I don't get decreased on YouTube. <laughs> Okay, in the event that this illness continues for a longer period of time, okay? So when can you apply? Good question, good question. If you are a small business or you are a sole proprietor, you can apply April 3rd, which if this video gets out as it's supposed to, if I can actually upload it the way I'm supposed to, that would be today. Today, today, today. Okay, you can apply today. If you are an independent contractor or you are self-employed, you can apply on April 10th. So now the question is, how do I apply? What do I do? I want you to be really, really, really careful with this because there's different types of loans out there and if you don't choose the right loan, you will end up paying it back. There's a lot of different bridge loans out there and different SBA, Small Business Administration loans that are not covered under these two types of loans um, provided in the CARES Act or in the bill in relation to COVID-19. So you have to be really, really careful and write down the names of the, the loans that I'm telling you about, okay? There's only two loans that you should be applying for during this time. I'm gonna say them again. The Payment Protection Plan Loan. It's being called the PPP loan. You can apply for that one. That one you do not have to repay if you use the money for the items that you're allowed to use the money for. You also have the Emergency EILD Grant, also called the SBA Disaster Loan, also called a 7B2 loan, okay? Be very, very careful. These are the only two types of loans that you should be taking out now. Now, the emergency EILD loan, you can actually apply for that tomorrow uh, or on April 10th, depending on your current business situation, on sba.gov. Please understand, please understand that there is only so much money that the government has allowed for these loans. So it will be first come, first serve, and more than likely that website is going to crash. If I were you, honestly, I would be up at midnight and I'd be filling in that application at midnight when most people are sleeping. With the other type of loan, the PPP loan, you will need to go through a lender in order to receive that. And so there will be multiple lenders giving out these loans, uh, lenders that have already been approved by the Small Business Administration, and they will start doing that come tomorrow. I actually like a company called Lendio, L-E-N-D-I-O. I think it's a great company, it's an online company, and what it does is it has approximately 37 lenders that it uses. It's already set up to accommodate SBA loans, and it's an easy, um, honestly, millennium-based loaning website. And so Lendio would be the place that I would recommend you go to. I'm going to leave a link at the bottom of this video so that you can go directly to that after you've watched this video. So my cutie, those are the two types of loans that you can receive from the government and I am extremely excited that you stayed with me through this video to learn about these. I hope that it's been helpful. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, give it a thumbs down. I'd like to obviously know that I'm providing you with great content. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and hit that little ding dong for notifications because I will be keeping you up to date with the requirements that are necessary in order for you to no longer repay those loans you receive from the government. And before we go, I just want to give you one little bonus tip. Bonus tip, bonus tip. <laughs> All right, this is what I would suggest you do. When you receive one of these loans, especially a PPP loan, I want you to open up a separate business bank account. 
I want you to put that loan in that separate business bank account and only use it to pay employees, rent, and utilities. That way, when you have to submit your information to the government to apply for loan forgiveness, which you will need to do, then you have the documentation clearly in your hand to prove that you have used this loan money simply for the items that the government has said you can use it for. Very, very important. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's been great. And until we speak again, go live your life, go live into life, and be blessed. Mwah!